Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing as Turkey. Right now, we're looking at the focus trees, because I asked you guys yesterday, and really from the first episode as well, which path we should take <clears throat> regarding joining the Axis, the Mediterranean Entente, or join the Allies. I guess technically we could probably do the anti-Bolshevik Mediterranean block as well, but there's a lot of support going down each one of these paths, pretty much. However, so whatever pact or pact, whatever choice we make, I'm going to be pissing people off anyways, so I can't please almost anyone. But I've already made up my mind. But before we get to there, other comments also told me that we should get and do all the focuses that we can before we choose our path. So we'll get some extra research, applying British oil embargoes on Iraq. So we'll do as many of these good focuses as we can before we, I show you which decision or which way we are going to be going. Regardless, we're going to watch the world burn a little bit, so that'll be good. And pay off our debts. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to pay off our debts so we can get rid of that effect as fast as possible. And we're also opening up some factories, which is going to take forever. So as we watch the world burn, we're just going to kind of hang out and kind of see people die. Kind of, to a degree. And we will probably initiate counter fundamentalist operations, which would be a good thing to do. We can only get 1.11 political power a day, build up our armed forces, because soon enough... We're going to be headed towards war. We'll put it like that. We'll put it like that. And we could give refuge to German and Italian scientists, but... Hmm, we got other things to do. The sooner we pay this off, the better. And our factories are 15 and 6. Not bad. Not bad. Minus 12. That's okay. What do we have out of date? Oh, yeah, artillery. We roughly make two a day. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Hey, 1962. That's worse than yesterday's. I think it was 1954, but whatever. Whatever. So our 13th, we have over 30 divisions. We're still not aligned, so I'm not really sure if we are, we will be able to actually send volunteers. But we've got the Anglo-Turkish Agreement. Beautiful. Which gave us more, better trade relations and a guarantee of independence from the UK and some medium tanks. Let's go ahead and see this. Better land doctor research speed. Light tanks from Italy. The Antalya Naval Academy. Let's see. Soviet tank factories, huh? So the opinion of them has to be higher, in which we get three more military factories. That's not bad. I don't necessarily want to lower my war support, because that's... Or, that's, I mean, stability. That's stability, not war support. That's, that's that's quite a bit for 180 days. For half a year, you get more weekly manpower, which is nice, but... Mm. Now, I don't want to dissolve the debt council, because I don't want to hurt my opinion of other people. I don't want to do an Adana to Baku highway, which seems pretty good, so... But for now, let's go ahead and choose host exiled scientists. So many nations run by jackbooted fools are willing to short-sightedly banish their best and brightest minds simply because those scientists will not agree to serve a tyrannical agenda. We should offer a home to those exiles here in Turkey, for we have a great need up for them, which would be a good thing. Oh, and we're going to watch the world burn, which would be great. All right. Oh, yeah, we have another division made, so that's going to hurt us. Guns are looking not bad. Yeah, these guys... Actually, since we're here, how much are... We don't have any artillery. We got enough guns and motorized. Hmm. I definitely want to change these to motorized here. But disperse industry, nice. Let's grab some more construction. Always good to grab. Always good. Fifteen seven, not bad. Beautiful. Republicanism. Wait, what was that other one? Develop. Oh, the chromium deposits. Well, we could do that. But that hurts our civilian factories. Mm, we could just get some more extraction. Obviously, we'll do this eventually. I think we could better spend political power some elsewhere, though. Especially initiating kind of fundamentalist operations. Could get a little bit more stability. Could get that one. Could potentially do that one, but we'll wait. But by the end of this episode, we might be in a war. We might not. It just depends. Oh, Conseil Mahmet Recep Pekir. Poland refused the German ultimatum. Now, can I send volunteers to anyone? I cannot yet, because we're not allowed to. Oh, man. Poland, join, po Poland joins the Allies. All right, then. Uh, when's the next research done? Oh, it's going to be a while, a while before we get another research slot. That sucks. Mm. And Germany is going ham on the Poles. We are slowly losing manpower, though. But that's just because we're making divisions. How many motorized do we have? We have a little bit. Not very much. 
Really not much at all. Light tanks. I guess we're making some light tanks. Fighters are not bad. Alright. Artillery wise, I think we can do this. Increase that, that'd be good. We want to get some excavation as well. Oh, Danzig. You've now been cut off. Ooh. Improve relations opinion. Only f at 5%. That's not very much, though. For finding construction speed. Oh, hey. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, yeah? What's up, Bink? Yeah, industrial monopoly, not very good. It's, it's, not, it's got some good stuff, but still. Motorized, meh. Yeah, that's just not worth it. Oh, and we have can host exiled scientists. We got some mobile defense. Warsaw is a frontline city, and over here we're probably gonna choose captain of industry. Who consumer goods sells? Actually, I'm probably gonna go with this because we will want to improve some relations, though. I think we probably will, will want to do that. Let's grab some disperse support now. Right, Bink. Bye, Bink. Cool. Appri apply a British oil embargoes on Iraq. Ooh, we do get land auction research speed. Light tanks. The Chester concession. And we do get military factories down there. Bomber schematics. Eh. I much prefer cast for this campaign, but let's do this one. Applying British oil embargoes on Iraq. The British are determined to stop Iraqi oil shipments from reaching the continental foes, but in largely unsuccessful. We can support the British initiative by blocking one of the largest land routes that the Iraqis pass through to trade in Europe. Germans won't like that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, they definitely won't like that one. But we can continue doing our focuses, right? And that's what matters. Mm, socialism. More factory output. We don't need that yet. Well, we kind of do, but not really. Democracy support now. Weekly war support. We definitely need to get that one. Actually, what? A oh, the fall of Warsaw. They did not stand a chance. And the fall of Nanjing. The Pene incident? Does Japan have no limits? Probably not. And there goes Poland. Good job, Germany. For now. And that's a little early. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to happen in April or May 1940, but sure, why not? Mm, reliability, CAS. That's not bad. The Gook. Okulu. Light aircraft designer, not bad. Stenmark 2s. Cool. It is 39 still. Let's grab some more cap. Go ahead and switch these out. That would be good. And we can switch these out as well. Nice. Medium tanks. Light tanks. Can we really afford to make these medium tanks? We don't have the supplies. And they need even more tungsten. I don't think we're going to make them yet. We just can't do that yet. War propaganda gets a German Reich. That's not... Oh, 75. Weekly war support. Hmm. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to do that. Netherlands is gone. Let's go ahead and choose this guy, though, first. The Prime Minister, because I want to improve my relations with the U.S. first. Because we get better stuff. Oh. What? Wait, that guy left. This guy. Sukuru. Who, who did that guy? Was he supposed to leave? We saw the, we saw the silent workhorse, huh? Oh, I don't even remember what the other guy did. Oh, maybe it was more factories, maybe? Ankara's almost done, which is great. Keep building up civilian factories just because I like them. And we can trade them away for resources, which means right now let's grab maybe a little bit more steel. There goes Belgium. And there goes Lux. Oh my goodness. Wow, Germany, you are uh, you're a little ahead of schedule there, man. A little ahead of schedule. Gun-wise, 7,500, not bad. Artillery is looking pretty good as well. This military is not going to be super, super great, but that's okay. Alright, let's throw on... Actually, you guys. Can I throw on some more of this? Yes, we can. There you go. It's going to cost us a little bit more. We don't have all the artillery that I would really like, but that's okay. Well, Paris is a frontline city. They even broken through the Maginot just a little bit. Holy cow. Uh, Guys, I, I'd say probably maybe calm down. Well, finish off the French, obviously, first. But then calm down and don't fight these guys yet. Oof. Take a look at the map mode. Axis is looking, doing pretty well. The Allies are, well, they're doing stuff. And Paris has fallen. The German Reich army seems unstoppable. 
And here comes Vichy France. Oh, they... Oh, why do the Italians own this? <laughs> oh, man. And, of course, the North African campaign has started. God, I wish we could send volunteers. Why can't we send volunteers? Why? Pay off our debts? That's good. 30 days left. Thank goodness. And then we're going to initiate counter fundamental things. Now we're going to get war propaganda against the German Reich. Just so we can get some more war support. That'll be good. Cool. Awesome. Let's, let's invest so much chromium around here. I'm going to grab get some more infrastructure up here too. Cool. We'll do that. The Chester Concession. Let's come over here. Oh, we need to increase our opinion of those guys as well. <sighs> Weekly stability. That really hurts us. But I do want to get down there. So, 70 days. Let's do the land auction first. So, German military advisors are the envy of the world. To modernize our military and its tactics, we must employ the aid of the people with the most modern armed forces in Europe. Which only makes sense, seeing as we j literally just saw the Germans take out France by the end of 39. I'm going to go ahead and start improving relations. Daily cost of 0.4. I'm going to do the same thing with these guys as well. 0.67. Not bad. Not bad. Just so that when we do this, then we'll go do the Chester Concessions, as well as the Soviet Tank Factories. Cool. We just want to watch the world burn, and then come in, and then take everything they have. Once they're weekend, of course. Once they're weekend. Concentrate. Construction 3. Let's grab some resource efficiency game. Just so we can get a little bit more steel, a little bit more chromium. That'll be nice. Output artillery. Oh, we need more support equipment. Oh, we're not making... Oh, my goodness. My bad. I don't really want to lower the amount of guns we have because we're going to need more guns in the future. German interest in Scandinavia. Okay, then. Declare war in Denmark. Very cool. Great. Norway joined the Allies. That's fine. The Funk plan, which is probably going to be deleted is if we go to war with the Reich. Which I kind of like that plan. Sheltered foreign outcasts. Research speed is nice, especially since we only have three research slots. Oof. Get some more steel. Get some more chromium. Grab some more civilian factories, because we want to build up a massive industry where we're going. The upgrades. Not really. Motorized amount is at 340. So I'm going to convert these guys to garrisons. Cool. And we actually have some motorized right here. I'm going to convert you immediately to that. There you go. We'll gain some infantry equipment, actually. Cool. Motorized. Not looking great, but that's okay. Train as well. Let's go and grab some war propaganda, because we want to get as much war support as possible. Eventually, world tension's already at 100%, but once it goes down a little bit more, that'll be okay. Ooh, we definitely need a conscription law. We can't because we're not fascist or communist. Oh, no. Oh, no. We gotta go to war, then. Oh, well, we do get more weekly manpower by doing that. There we go. Soviet tank factories. We're gonna do this one immediately next, just so that we can get through that as fast as possible and stop raising relations with those guys. Oh, and there goes Latvia. Goodbye, Latvia. Goodbye. Oh, we're done increasing our relations between our two nations. Cool. Minus three a month. That's not bad. We do have a non-aggression pact. When can we get rid of that? Oh, they're declaring... Oh, justifying. When does that expire? Oh, poor Kingdom of Romania. Let's see. 1940, April 5th. So... Oh, that's this here. Ooh. Good. Hey, we actually got rid of that A1515 too. Nice. Not bad. Let's go and do this. The Soviet tank factories for free military factories. By taking a more explicitly anti-fascist stance on our foreign policy, we can ensure the success of a scheme designed to foster armor production in Turkey with the aid of the Soviets. Absolutely. And we'll grab some more manpower as well. In the meantime, I'm going to grab republicanism just because we're going to be losing stability. So, to get that extra manpower... You might as well take it now so that we can do it again later on. And the reason I chose Excavation 3 is because we're going to need it for more Chromium later on. Oh, Excavation 4. 
Yeah, we'll definitely need this one. Construction three, huh? Fifteen civilian factories for twelve steel. Just uh, fifteen though. That's so much. But happy 1940. Let's get some more research speed going already. That'll be good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Just want to watch everyone kill each other. Okay, Italy. Germany didn't want to invade, but Italy did. Wow. You know what? 23. We're going to get that one. Just do it now. We have 15 and 3 still, which is great. So, it's for three months, we lose that much. But this this means we get enough steel. We don't have to trade away for civilian factories. The Finns reject Soviet demands. Whew. And the Brits are doing really well in North Africa, even though Italy is doing fairly okay in East Africa, surprisingly. For now, at least. And the Japanese are doing okay against the Chinese. I can start leveling with them. Non aggression pact. So the Union Clearwater on the Finns. Someone recommended I get a Turco Finnish uh, alliance. We'll see about that. Third of a million, 800,000. Well, two thirds of a million versus four million. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Defense have lost quite a few guys already. Nice. We're doing that stuff down there. That's not worth doing. Goodbye. Promises of peace is never worth doing. We could do that. More research speed. Yeah, but... Mm, populism. Mm, weekly war support. Uh, would be bad, but... Yes. For 75... For 10%. Versus war propaganda. 180, was it 180 days? Was it like that? For. Well, we'll get 3% more war support. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, we think factories. We got anything more, more research? Guts. I don't want to say it ever. I don't want to say that often. 70 day focuses, man. I swear to God. Whew, not good. Not good. So, we have 26 days left. We got less than 20 days here. So, after that, we're going to go and provide refuge. To the victims of fascism. The fascist cause is indiscriminate to its choice of victims. These demagogues pander to the masses with delusions of grandeur on the one hand, while letting the rats out of the sewer with the other. We must protect those who have no means with which to protect themselves. So we lose... Oh boy, let me grab my calculator here real quick. So 180 days, divided by 7, which is about 25.7 weeks, so let's say 25. 25, so we basically lose around... You know, 25% stability. That's that's a lot of stability, holy cow. But weekly manpower, that equals 31,000-ish manpower. So, for 31,000 manpower versus 25% weekly stability, man. Is that really worth it? I guess if you're really desperate, I mean, we'll do it just because we can. But it feels weird not getting into the action. It's already April 25th, 1940. We'll do that soon. But I want to get over here first, just so that the Americans still like us. We remain entitled to the concessions that the Americans promised over a decade ago. We can make our engagement with the war incumbent on American contributions to the well-being of the Turkish state. Cool. And let's keep an eye on how much they like us. Uh, we can probably just continue improving relations for now. We still get 1.15 a day. That's not bad. So, we'll wait. Improving relations seems to go by pretty quickly. Excavation 3. Great. It's 1940. We can get this stuff. We could get armored cars. It might be worth getting more artillery, but let's get some better planes. We don't want to produce garbage, right? Or just older stuff. We don't want to do that. 15-4, 15-5. We should have the steel factory done. I'm going to grab more republicanism anyways for now. Nice. We're more than halfway done. Less than a month until we get more steel. So we don't have to trade away our factories almost completely. Ooh, chromium at 19. Nice. Building up infrastructure is a pretty smart idea sometimes. Sometimes. Now, we do want to go to war with the Soviets eventually, but we'll see what happens. We're going to have a three-way sub-war, three-way war maybe someday. Maybe. Depends if we can, if we join the Axis, if we join the Soviets, so. Don't want to reveal the choices we've made so far. I get to 1.15. And we should almost be done improving relations with the Americans. Yeah, that's not bad so far. Hungary joined the Axis, which, second Vienna War, that makes sense. That is disgusting. Romania, that is... I am sorry. That is just disgusting. Oof. Oh, then we have Southern Bessarabia. How sad. How sad. Wow. Still over a month left for this. 
Oh, man. Okay, so much artillery do we have? 314. This is not going to be enough to throw support artillery on here, is it? No, but actually, that's not bad. Throw the support artillery on there because it gives us more soft attack, which is nice, 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 nice. Treaty of Krayova. And we're out of manpower. God dang it. Hmm. Yep, so it's a good thing we're trying to get that extra manpower then. Bulgaria joins the Axis. Oh boy. Yugoslavia, you're just still kind of hanging out, right? Motorize the cavalry. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now. Now, 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 now. We could probably use a dockyard. We should probably get rid of free trade too. I do want to get synthetic refineries. That'd be nice. Let's go ahead. Military factories. We'll build up. Ooh, Ismit. has been really built up. I'm going to do this first. We get three factories. Three dockyards, I mean. And then we'll throw on some... Factories right there. Oh, no. Right there. And then some right there. Even though we should really be building up some more infrastructure. Chromium, chromium, chromium. Jesus, that's so much chromium. Yeah. And then build up internet capital as well. That'd be smart. Go right there. Eventually, we're going to build all this other stuff. So, in the meantime, we'll just be intervening. Putting new factories wherever we need it. And don't want to forget Hatay. That'd be good. And a dear name. That'd be nice. And we must have finished the steel, right? Maybe. We need more. Oh, man. Did we finish the steel thing? Yeah, we must have. Screw it. We're going to grab more steel now. So the Americans must like us. We get... Yep, we got our political power back. So they must like us quite a bit, which is good. Yeah, i got to get down to limited exports. we got to... Well, no, not exactly. Just because we don't extract anything from here. Oh, my goodness. Why? Support companies. Yeah. I love my support company so much. Probably too much. Oh, does he have an upgrade? You know what? what? Intelligence agency name. What is a good Turkish intelligence agency name? Let me know in the comments below, just because I have no idea. No, no, no idea. Yeah, chromium we don't need. Do we need any more? No, we have we got plenty of chromium, so we don't need to do that. That's just a concession. Let's go with two mil more military factories. American motor factories. Actually, no. I want to get that manpower and stability hit first. The fascist cause is indiscriminate. We've already read this, so we must protect those who have no means with which to protect themselves, right? Yes. Good. So, the Americans established conditions for the concession. The U.S. has agreed to fulfill the commitments they promised to fulfill to us over a decade ago, but in exchange for compensation. They are willing to use their superior technology and extensive industrial resources to extract petroleum in Diyar Bakir and that we've been unable to reliably unearth, but in exchange, the Americans want exclusive resources to the rights in Afyon. To sweeten the deal, the Americans have expressed a willingness to teach us some of their advanced extraction techniques and grant us the schematics of some of their more intricate tools for excavation. Requesting the concession should have been humiliation enough, but this might just prove to be beyond the pale. Our initiative is meant to represent the fruits of anti-imperialism and anti-colonialism, and if we agree to the American demands, then we'll be betraying our values. So, can we afford to turn down the boons that Americans can offer us? We get, ooh, give them what they want. You get three civilian factories, two, 150% research bonuses for excavation. We get oil, and we, ooh, give the U.S. rights to the resources. Hold on. We never live under the American thumb. Hmm. An Afion, what is that? Plants, ooh, let's come over to here. Or the states map mode. There we go. Where is that? Oh, over here. Oh, they get access to all of this. They get some chromium. Mm. The rights to the resources. So we can't extract nearly as much, and we might be taking a hit. But we do get our own fuel. Ooh. In the meantime, because we don't have any fuel, we get some more fuel, get some bonuses, some more civilian factories. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, I, I, like I said earlier, I've already kind of made the choice which way we're going. And like I said earlier, no matter which way we choose, people are not going to like it. So, I think for this campaign, we're going to choose join the Allies. Because it makes the most sense if you think about it. Because we're on historical AI. Hopefully the Allies will win. Hopefully Germany will lose. With the Allies with us, we could probably convince them to... They're probably they're already fighting the Axis. This way, later on, we also get a research slot, but you also get a research slot if you go down that way. But you might be able to invite Bulgaria into us. We get the picture proposal. We get some dockyards. We can get a puppet war goal against Iran, which would be good for us. We can seize the 
Romanian oil fields, which would be good for us. So I think overall, to help make us stronger later on, especially once we take out the Soviet Unions with the Allies, we can rebuke the Treaty of Kars, we get claims, we can get the Tyrannist Ambition, and this, if we take enough Soviet territory with the Allies, when, especially when we leave the faction of the Allies, we can go to war with the Chinese Turks, and then we can get a war goal against Hungary, against, of course, Romania again, but we can use this to our advantage. I will do a campaign later on, going down the Mediterranean on top when we do have, or when we have the historical AI focuses off. And of course, I'll choose a fascist path eventually, as well as a communist path, but I think for now, I don't want to do this. But this is the best thing we can do for now. Especially once we get more fuel immediately. And excavation technologies, and the extra civilian factory. So I know this is going to piss people off. We're going to be joining the Allies, even though I'd like this political power and stability. I think that'd be for the best, just for now. Just for now. At the outset of this campaign, I did not expect me to join the Allies, but whatever. So we lost resources, but we only really lost three. So that's okay for us for now. We gotta do what we must to get a little bit more fuel, some more civilian factories, build ourselves up more and more and more. Because this is all just build up phase right now. Improve worker conditions. <clears throat> Are we lowering our weekly stability? Not yet. That's fine. We'll get 5% more. We'll finish this one. You know, I'm just going to do this anyways for now. Because we need to use it later anyways. 1.59. Not bad. The world's pretty much a piece of it. Well, maybe not the world. Yeah, you guys are still dying over here. With this much political power, we don't need to do this at all yet. Drill into the Garzan oil fields. We will eventually. We will. Get even more fuel there. So, we could give refuge... It's more stability, less stability, more research speed. Hmm. Research speed. How much research speed do we have? Plus 27%. I do want to initiate kind of fundamental operations. 5% though. Is that worth it? That could be worth it for now. Actually, I want, you know what? We'll do it to the Italian ones. I never choose this, so let's choose it. Why not? Even faster research speed. Tarowski survi survives an assassination attempt. Oh boy. Let's see, this one's about halfway done. So improved competing machine. After that, we could go nuclear, but we don't have the, the time to do that really for now. We could get more excavation. Alright, improved competing machine. Just in case, let's grab some more defense. 5% more defense, support weapons. I think that'd be worth it. And we're out of manpower again. Good, good, good. We do gotta get into the war though, just so we can raise our conscription level, because oh my goodness, we gotta get here. Enemies strength ratio 50% or more compared to our army. Service by requirement. And of course we want to get a war economy as well. Because last time we took we took away etatism just because this speeds up military or just factory construction speed. Excuse me. Military construction speed. But look at that. 74 civilian factories right now. Or not civilian factories, but just factories in general. That's pretty good. Over here. Artillery is looking not bad. We got a nice little stockpile of infantry equipment, which we are going to need later on. I'm going to go ahead and burn you guys to more motorized for now. Because we're going to need it. We are going to need it in the future. Light tanks are not looking bad either. We will use be using light tank divisions. Really, though, for now, I think we can wait. I'm not sure it's going to be really worth it for now. Let's go ahead and do kind of fundamental operations. I did say I want to do that before, so. Cool, cool, cool. We got that one done. We could grab cast. We can wait a little bit more on that. Mm, I want radar. I, want, I do want to go nuclear. Good. Mm, better engineers. Actually, our... Well, we got to focus a little bit more on that right now. Support equipment is not good enough. Fighters, cool. Go up to three. This is all the... Oh! Oh, that just auto-passed. Provide refuge? Oh, I didn't realize that I would actually go... Oh, because we already fulfilled it. Next up, we could grab this off. We're going to purchase some light tanks. Ooh, that, that would not be bad to get either. I'm I'm literally just trying to do everything we can to get as much as we possibly can get first. So, a down into Baku Highway. We've long wanted to foster greater ties between ourselves and the Caucasus. This initiative could serve to only deepen our ties with the Soviet Union. That's good. Really, really good. 
Yeah, keep building ourselves up on top. Yeah. This place has... Where are the resources? Boom, boom. These two places... Oh, oh wait. They wanted this area. I don't know that... Oh, hold on. Come on, loyalists. Oh, you get more recruitable population in the local construction speed. I didn't realize that. Oh, you actually get bonuses here. Traditionalist opposition. Max factories in the state. Less recruitable population. Oh. Well, I'm learning new things every every time. Cool. And they tried an invasion through here. Italy's not declared war on Greece yet. Interesting. And the Brits are doing pretty well up here. You know, they're smashing through the other part of Africa. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can I get more steel? Not yet. 1.58. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we're getting more weekly manpower. That'd be good. That'd be good. Even though our stability. Our stability. We're gonna do that to oppose that for now. That'd be good. Fuel wise, what are we what are we losing fuel? Army? What's the army's training? Duh. Duh, Mr. Mokalover. Duh. Bitchy France. You guys are still training over there. Good. Oh, do you have upgrades? Oh yes. Ooh, ambusher. More entr max entrenchment. I'm gonna go with the attack though. Ah, there we go. Greece has now joined the Allies, which won't be bad. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? These guys, since we're going to join the Allies, I'll put you guys over here, because Bulgaria joined the Axis. Italian Bulgarian Military Technology Exchange. They're dealing with the devil. Pretty much. We're going to need to save up some political power, though. Just because, as soon as we can go to war, we've got to raise the conscription level to extensive conscription. Oof. Research is coming along. 15 days for support weapons. Then we'll probably go with improved infantry equipment too. That'll be nice. Alright, so we're building ourselves up very nicely. Maybe too nicely, too quickly. Oh my goodness. I don't want to build in the coast too much. 40%, 50%. There you go. I want to see these guys kill each other. Come on, kill each other. Quickly, manpower would be nice, but that's not worth it for 50 political power. Maybe eventually, once we run, run out of things to do. I'm going to give refuge to the German scientists next. Just because we got to get that research speed, man. That research speed. Hey, they actually won down here. Wow. Support weapons three. Now let's grab some. That's good. We might need field hospitals. Just because we're already out of manpower. And Turkey, well, that's a good... That's 17 million people. It's not enough, man. That ain't enough. We need more. More Turks. Not bad. Not bad. If I do this, we can save a little bit of manpower. But we don't have enough artillery. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of artillery we do not have. Down into Baku Highway. Great. Now, actually, we can do this. Redress the Montreux Convention. We can join the Comintern if we really wanted to. Wow. The International of Proletarian Free, free Thinkers. Seize religious po property. Reconciling Kamalism with Bolshevism. Hmm. Collectivizing our agriculture. Issue an ultimatum to Bulgaria. Well, probably not. So let's try to come down here as fast as possible and get to expand credit on the debts. We could do this, but all we get is like 40 light tanks. I want to do this one too, but that's okay. We can, we, we got to start moving ahead. So let's grab this one. Much of our heavy industry that is associated with the production of motorized vehicles is dependent upon cooperations with the Americans. We've not always been the most most lenient nation when it comes to foreign investment, but if we were to loosen our regulations for our American friends, well, who can say what could happen? Also, we don't want to forget, we can also do utilize foreign capital. The higher relations with the old great powers of Europe and the USA, the more options investment we will be able to pay for. Not bad. The Bulgarian government supports the IMRO. Ah, oh, cool. I almost never do that, but hey, you know what? I like... 45% research speed. Not bad. We try to make up for it as much as possible. Oh, look at that. More manpower. Yes, please. Thank you. And it goes bye-bye. By only having three research slots, we'll do the best we possibly can. Engineers will be great. Really, really great. Oh, yeah. We're not really focusing. Yeah, we don't have to go down there. We just go straight to medium tanks. Not bad. And we'll grab some improved artillery. That'll be good. That'll be very good. Now, I'm just waiting for the war to happen between these two giants. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of resistance, Germany. Oh, that's a lot of manpower. Oof. 
Oh, Joseph Stalin. How's the war in China going? Well, it's it's looking like it's stalling out a little bit. It's kind of nice for them. For the Chinese, I should say. We got more civilian factories. We want to get more steel. That'd be nice. Ooh, so we have... We need aluminum or rubber. We'll grab one of each. You know what? Screw it. We'll grab one of each. Thank you. And aluminum. That's why I wanted to make more factories. So we could trade away for more resources. Nice. That should help production at least a little bit. And Romania joined the Axis. Of course they did. King Carol II abdicates. It's fine. Whatever. So now that we can buy more goods, we can actually improve our military capabilities. Support equipment. We gotta go up to at least five. At least five. Build up more roads so that we can build things up faster later on. And what are you up to? You guys. Switch this with infantry. That'll make you a little tougher. Yeah, I'm gonna start. How much? How much do we have? Motorized. We have enough. Do it again. Of course, then again, you can just look at it like this over here. Motorized. We got enough. Let's convert it all to motorized. There you go. Next up, what we're going to choose is armor? It's not bad. Obviously, this is better, though. Factory repair speed, infrastructure construction speed, plus 15% is not bad. Improve relations, we already have a good guy to improve relations. Synthetic resources, research speed. Yeah, I'm probably going to choose this one, just because we got to start researching some more ways to get more fuel later on. But, oh, this is so good, though. Infrastructure construction speed. We're using that for now. Screw it, we'll do this one. Cool. And then we shall do Farmer Schematics. It's not enough that we can defend our own skies in wartime. We must be able to strike at the hearts of our enemies so that any war can be brought to a swift conclusion. The Allies are the masters of using the bomb as a tool to ground down their enemies, and there's much we can learn from. I wonder, if I go when I go join the Allies, can I still do this? Oh, no, no, we can't, because we have to be at peace with Italy, so we can't do that. Yeah, 70 day focuses, I wish. It's just too long. It's just too long, man. I mean, you get more naval experience plus 5%. That's okay. Attack and defense, or attack and maneuvering skull, new naval leaders, whatever. We try to get as many benefits as we possibly could before we go to war, but that's okay. It's 41. Happy 41, everyone. Get some more output. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be pretty hellacious trying to fight through here. Um, let's see. You know, just in case, how we do? 1, 2, 3, 4. Adirna's going to get attacked pretty hard. Make sure we get some forts over here. That'd be probably pretty good to do. Anything else? Not that I... Ooh, yeah, get some more stability. That's always worth getting more stability. Oh, boy. I, I wish we could send volunteers. I really wish we could. Nice. How, many, how, long, how much longer do we have this? Until... Oh, we have less than a month for this. Ooh. I mean, this has been pretty good for us to get 31,000 more manpower for free, but after that, we're kind of out. Kind of sucks. So, now we got to save up political power, join the Allies, probably join the war, to be honest with you, and then expand our navy. That stuff is okay. The Petra Proposal, what does that do? That see us becoming responsible for protecting and administering British protectorates in the Levant. The strategy and proposal are sound, and now that it's all left is to pitch the idea to the British. Hopefully they agree. Let's grab some mechanized offensives, which doesn't help us at all right now, but whatever. Yeah, we got to save our political power up. Cool. Partnership pact with Bulgaria? They'll probably say no. One of the following must be true. Fascist communist? Cool. Because I do want to get expand credit on our debts. And get more political power, which is nice. Are these guys actually good to go? They're only 19 combat with. We need so much more artillery. And, hold on. Support equipment. 300. We got to... We got to do this. Hey, we actually have a little bit of manpower. Look at that. Well, we, we did. Once I do this. And it went down a little bit more. It's fine. Okay, go ahead and do that. Alright. Good hospital once. Oh, goodness. We need more of that, too. Go ahead and throw some factories right there. 100%. We'll do that. Two at a time. Two at a time. Ooh, 30. Oh, wow. That's really fast. But we gotta come over here first. Actually, anything for 41. We could get more soft attack. Let's grab some more construction speed. Because, hey, look. 85 factories ain't bad. 
Refugees for oh from the fascist menace. No. Hey, at least we stopped lowering our stability though. That's good. Counter fundamentalist operations. Whew. Oh wow, it Italy took over Norway. Wow, that is disgusting. What are you guys up to? Primacy and unknown focus. Okay. Have everyone train if they need to. Oh, I hate having to do that. Oh, man. Actually, we got a thousand pieces of artillery. We might save some manpower if we do this now. Oh, we don't have enough army XP. God dang it. Mr. Mocha Lover. You're too, you're too weird. You're too nuts. Yeah, I know. Oh, but we got the forts here. At least some forts. That would be nice. God. Come on, get us some more army XP. At least Greece is holding. And Yugoslavia is not dead yet. And actually... The UK is doing pretty well around here, too. That's pretty good. Can we get to Vichy France? Uh, if that's the case, I'm pulling you guys off. Because we will strike through here. And we will take the Levant, if possible. Uh, <coughs> Russia, Soviet Union, what are you doing? Do you really want to do that in April 5th, 1941? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, we're out of manpower. That sucks. All right, next up, join the Allies. The world has reached a mo moment of destiny, and we sit at the crossroads of many empires vying to change the world forever. We must stand for the values upon which our country was founded and fight with the nations of the West in the name of freedom and liberty for now. For now. Because, you know, I'm glad we have this focus. Because we just leave. <laughs> Demand return of 1920 borders. Radical shift in foreign policy might alienate us from our allies, especially if we begin targeting them. <laughs> well, of course. And we create our own faction. Lose stability, get more war support. That looks really good. So... I'm not really sure which one to do, though, down here. Because you can do Confederacion. So basically, you core Azerbaijan. You get stability and war support, which is great. Or you can unite the Azeri diaspora. Solemn duty to unite all the Turkic peoples of the world under one nation. And until we've liberated our Azeri brethren across our mission is not finished yet. We get cores on Azerbaijan anyways. Georgia, Galan, Tibrez, and Hamadan. Or you can do that one. Or you can liberate the Kurdish diaspora. Diaspora. The destinies of the Turks and the Kurds are people are intertwined, and if we're not all in this together, then the history will be doomed to repeat itself for opportunity. Because you get eight cores. Now, of course, we already cored Diyar, Bakir, Hakari, Azurum, and five other provinces. So I'm not really sure which one we should do. Should we do unite the Azeri diaspora or liberate the Kurds? I'll leave that up for you to for you guys to decide. Because if we do liberate the Kurds, then we can also do this one and we get Azerbaijan anyways, which is kind of nice, which is kind of I guess at the time of this recording, a little bit relevant in 2020 um, issues. But regardless, because I do want to form the Turanian Empire before we're done with this campaign. So, All right, we've got... Grab that. We've got enough political power, and we're pretty much ready to go to war. Well, sort of ready. We're out of manpower. We're out of support equipment, which is not very good. We do have enough artillery, though. Military factories, we're still making more. Great, great, great. Our navy is not looking... Not looking great, not going to lie. Not looking that great. <laughs> But hey, we open up a front for the Allies, they'll funnel a lot of soldiers in here. And if we join the Allies, they will probably send us a buttload of equipment. God, I wish Vichy France would join the the Axis. We could probably just justify on them and then go to war with them, but that would cost too much time. And we've got... We'll do one more focus and then we'll call it an episode because I don't want this to go on too long. Not too long. Ooh, infrastructure. Mm. Oh, that's going to eat up our political power right now. Quartermaster General. Ooh, go ahead and do that. It's fine, whatever. Disperse industry, we've got some construction. Let's go ahead and grab some more artillery. I'm I have to emphasize artillery right now. So even though we lost all that political power, that's fine. Build, 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 especially for this stuff. But once we get this done, we can get more bonuses to this stuff, which would be good. Civilian infrastructure and refineries. Yeah, we got to get some research on that too. That would be nice. But hey, 134 daily gain, not bad. I love having 27 fuel. Oh, Ooh, and then we're going to lose our steel. That's okay, we can trade with the Soviets for a while. That'll be fine with me. Come on, Operation Baba. Baba's hopefully going to be unlaunched. Women in aviation, is it? Are you really focusing on putting women in planes when you're about to get attacked, Stalin? <laughs> well, you do you, Stalin. Let's see if we can save some manpower. Hey, only minus 69? Nice. Hey, we've got 50,000 manpower back. Great. Okay, that's going to be the case. Stop training. And I'll retrain to make sure everyone actually gets a good amount of training here. Just 
I'm going to put you guys in Istanbul just in case. Nice. Very good. And after this one, we shall do... So since we can do that stuff, we... I still need to do the Pontic Redoubt. So we get more fac factories. Land forts. But we're going to immediately do Controlling the Skies. we do Controlling the Skies. Superior firepower is how we will win the war. And we must be active contributors to the war effort by adding our own firepower and the struggle to dominate the skies. Which will be a very, very, very good thing. And we already have one Army XP and one Naval XP. So unfortunately, we have to do that immediately. And we will end the episode there tomorrow. We will join the war against the Axis. But we're not really going to do too, do too much. I want to see the German Reich as well as the Soviet Union try to kill each other off. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will get involved in conflict. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.